So in this video, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of Cave A, or the Rebreather Cave, and it is pat, uh, after patch 13, and this cave has been rearranged significantly uh, since the launch of the game. So I wanted to take a fresh approach, create a new character so I could rediscover all the items in the cave. So I went in and I've lit up the cave with torches to make it easier to see and kind of uh, put the torches where specific items are, key items to look. And first up is this entertainment bunker, this uh, new location discovered. This is basically going to put the entertainment bunker on your GPS, which, of course, that's nothing new. But um, they rearranged that after the launch of the game, but um, it's not like brand, brand new, if that makes sense. Anyways, as we continue through the cave, of course, this cave does have uh, quite a few enemies in it. I have uh, killed them all, as you can see, the blood on my tactical axe. So there will be no enemies. But once you get up here, this will be sort of the big fork in the cave that leads to different specific areas. And there will be a gathering of enemies up here. Of course, they're all dead. So right here, if we go to the left, is the rebreather. We're going to hang a right. This is going to go to the stun gun, the leather jacket, also the new addition that was added in patch 11 to Cave A. But we're going to go get that stun gun and that leather jacket. Of course, you got a lot of... Um, different items you can pick up. I'm not going to smash these crates. I'm just trying to make it, make it through this cave as fast as possible. But I, going back through this with a fresh set of eyes, a new character, it was... Um, I forgot how cool this cave was. So right there, that's the new addition um, that they had added a few... Well, I guess a month ago now. Anyways, I forgot how cool this cave was. It's pretty... Uh, especially lit up where you can actually kind of see... And we should be coming close to that stun gun. So here we go. We have the leather jacket stuck in this jelly-like substance. I want to give it a wash for trying that on. And you got the stun gun. And now I'm going to go to the new addition that was added in patch 11, which has a blueprint, which is... An electric cross that you can build. Um, I need to test that out. So, but see how good it does with demons. That's a good idea. I'll try that out. Uh, anyways, you get the uh, electric cross blueprint. And then you'll also get a mystery item. So right here where this guy's laying on the ground. You got some goodies there. This will be where you want to go left. Making your way through all these hanging crosses. Couple flares if you need those. Look for this rope here and we're going to climb down. More crates. Now when we get up here, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. I mean, you can... There's a couple of dead ends back there, but if you just look for this place you crouch under with the hanging crosses, this will take you where you where you need to go. So here is your blueprint. So you can make a gigantic wooden cross with some light bulbs. Now we're going to the mystery item. Mystery item found. Now we just need to backtrack. And I'm going to show you how to get to the rebreather. But um, you may or may not already have that. So you may not need to see the rest of this. But I did notice I'd forgotten one thing about where the rebreather is. I don't want to spoil it quite yet. But uh, I'd forgotten all about this little guy. So anyways, um, to the left, like I said, there's a couple of dead ends back there. There may be a couple of more, you know, little loot items. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Nothing big. We're getting all the big items. Yep. 
And... Go back out this way. Just trying to hug kind of to the, this right wall and then we shouldn't miss the big fork. See, there's a guy. Told you there was enemies in here. Um, come on, where are you at? More bats. Right here we go. So... This way right here is to the rebreather. And once you get the rebreather, of course, it allows you to swim underwater. You replace the oxygen with a little oxygen tank. So we picked up one at the beginning of this cave. And you can either backtrack your way out of this cave the way we're going now. Or you can swim out to the ocean. Which is, you know, heck, it's the quicker preferred method. And there's a lot of little loot items around here. I'm not going to walk around this whole cave. I had it lit up a little bit with torches, as you can see. But I want to try to show you guys. I forgot about this little buddy down here. Um, let me get this rebreather first. There's that. There's the rebreather. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Um, and if I can light it up here, you can. I don't know if you can see the little sharky over there swimming. It's kind of small, but. I'm not going to mess with him. I'm just going, getting out of here. It's funny. I actually don't have the flashlight on this character, so it is, it's not as easy to see with that basic lighter they start you out with. But anyways, you just follow this tunnel all the way out. Hopefully it is daytime, which I think it is. So once you get to the end of this, you should start seeing some daylight, and you'll come out in the ocean. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. There we go. Daytime. Yep. So now you can just swim back and you're good to go. But anyways, that's it for this video. As always, thank you for watching and hope to catch you in the next video.